Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's Saturday, so it's discovering time and adventure time. Today I am at a river, more specifically at a small little picnic area that is actually close to the main road. However, main road in Sweden, in northern Sweden, is basically empty 90% of the time. I already made some drone shots that I will be adding up in a video that's coming sooner or later because I have planned a review video after 10,000 kilometers with the car and also a review after summer. I have already done some recording last week. I was again at the airfield, but I'm still not fully done with recording the video. So it's gonna take a few more weeks, I guess. But what is here? Well, I actually don't know. The only thing I know of is that you have the picnic table. You have also like a fireplace, however, it looks really, really old, like not used in a long, very long time. And then there's also this, this path there that I haven't checked out yet. So we're gonna check that one out. And what can I say about Sweden so far? Well, it really, really got cold fast. Like it's maybe eight degrees right now and I'm wearing my sweater, but still I kind of feel cold just with the sweater. So it's definitely not nice to just chill outside anymore, unfortunately. But at the same time, yeah, winter is coming pretty soon, I guess. And I think I also saw it on a drone. Like I'm gonna show you what I saw right there. I'm not sure if this is like a bridge or if this is just wires going over there, but I'm sure like, of course you have the cables going up there for like electricity, but there's also some kind of bridge. I know now that this is just probably the area, the, the, the road, if you can say so right there, where you could probably put your boat in this river yeah, but besides that nothing spectacular here so i was already like in the car now for i don't know like 30 40 minutes i was thinking about my whole christmas thing because this year i am not going to germany because i am going to iceland shortly after christmas and so it would just not make any sense to fly to germany and then fly from Germany to Iceland and then fly from Iceland to Sweden because first of all it's way more expensive it is another additional flight and I was not feeling it because yeah it's just way too much of a rush to do it and at the same time I was thinking like okay when I'm here during Christmas alone I'm not really sure what I'm going to do I'm going back to the car but there's uh, but there's also one work colleague um, that is not planning to go back to his country to see his family during Christmas and He is not sure what he's doing, but he has also his girlfriend here So they are might they might do something together and then I yeah was thinking about what I am doing over Christmas because I am flying on the 27th to Iceland and then I thought like okay, well the 24th is, I think, Tuesday, so that would still be a work day. We are also not sure yet at the company if they closed down the factory this year. Last year, I heard they closed down the factory and no one had to take semester days because this was done by the union, so the work community thingy. But this year, they don't know yet. <sighs> yeah, but so when they not close down the factory, that means working on the 23rd and the 24th is at least like mandatory if you don't take semester days. When I say semester, I mean vacation, but the Swedish word for vacation is semester. So sorry for confusing. Then I will not do anything for Christmas. Then I will just work on the 23rd, work on the 24th, and that's it, and I'm fine with it. I'm not even thinking I'm gonna do anything on the 25th or 26th, because on the 26th in the evening, I'm planning to take the night train to Stockholm or to, to Arlanda because it's also not worth taking the car there. I already checked all of that right now. But yeah, so if I have to work 23rd, 24th, I will just do it. Nothing crazy I think is going to happen, at least not something big. However, if I don't have to work on the 23rd and the 24th, then my last working day is like the Friday before. So I am actually thinking to do something cool then. I'm not 100% sure what exactly yet. I was thinking about like, it would be cool to have Christmas at the North Cape. However, 
this would be like the 24th and then I still had to drive back all the way to Sweden to here and I remember last time when I drove to the North Cape with my former flatmate it took us two days from Umeå to the North Cape or like one and a half day it would work but it would be a real rush especially if I have to pack all my stuff on the 26th so maybe I still do it but then I will be like at the North Cape on the 23rd or I will just do something that is not regarding the North Cape maybe I will go to this um, Christmas village in Finland because that is also kind of on the way to the North Cape Rovaniemi I think it's called wait let me check that would actually be kind of nice to go there exactly during Christmas ah, there. Rovaniemi yeah it's Rovaniemi I'm planning to probably go there for Christmas that is my plan and everything that I was just thinking about now it is 2 p.m. My plan for now is to drive to the next location, which is half an hour away, where I go swimming. And then from that location, I'm going to drive back to like the Unschutzweg area. But on the way there, I'm going to make more drone footage at the Helio swimming place that I was already like in one of the last weeks. And then I do some, sh some grocery shopping and I will also do more charging with the car because there's actually one thing that is kind of annoying as of right now. And that is when I want to charge the car as of right now because the situation with like charging at home is still kind of kind of weird. My landlord is doing some changes at the house so we don't have electricity outside right now. When I'm basically now driving to the city to charge, the, the amount of time from starting to drive to that is not enough to heat up the battery. Like this morning when I drove there, I checked the battery temperature and it's at like two degrees and the battery needs like 40 degrees to have like the perfect condition for charging. I waited a few minutes to charge a bit so that I can do my whole tour today. And then on the way back, I'm gonna charge back to a good level so that I don't have to worry the next time. But now I already talked enough, but I'm doing some working on my computer now. And then I'm going to the swimming spot. Guys, I was just driving on that road over that bridge on my way to my swimming space. However, when I was going over that bridge, I was like, wait, 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 wait. I have to turn around because this spot that I found here is amazing. This is Yide Elven. So the river from Gideo, basically, or like the river that is going into the lake, I guess. I don't know, but it's at least the river. And there you go. Look at that. And also the other direction. Here's a lot of water movement going on. Just look at this, holy moly. And it's really, really nice. And you have like this area right there. I guess that is a toilet. There you can sit, make like a barbecue. And here you can watch the nice river. And also there behind that tree, there's a small little house where you can have like a barbecue. It's a fireplace. That is truly amazing. Of course, this is not linked somewhere. You just randomly find spots like these. Like there, just look at it. Wow, I love it. Man, I'm so happy that I turned around and made a stop here because the drone footage I made, perfect. Sugar, basically, really sweet. But now I'm going to the swimming spot. It's cold outside, like my fingers are freezing. That's not a good sign because if I want to swim, well, maybe it's even warmer in the lake that I'm going to swim. But now let's get going for real. But this time you're gonna see me walking inside this lake. So here we go. I have now reached the swimming place and there it is. Small little beach, also small little buildings here, small shelter, fireplace. Same on the other side. I think there's also a toilet minimum, maybe also a changing room. Um, I will show you. I know it looks probably colder than this right now, but I put these things on to just stay a bit warmer. Yeah, I think actually there's both right there. So the first building is, I guess, the changing room. I haven't checked and the second building is the toilet, but it's too far for me to go in there to change. So I will just use this shelter thingy so that I don't get too much wind. The car is back there on the other side. I am trying out to change outside again today. When it's colder the next times, I'm definitely taking a swimming place where I can drive as close as possible with the car to the water so that I can change in the car. That's also the plan for winter. But now let's get going, guys.
it's already cold now, so <laughs> it's going to be wild. This is going to be the perspective. I think that's okay. If not, then yeah, don't complain, guys. <laughs> but now I'm gonna change and then we will see each other back. Okay, guys, here we go. It's cold. Let's see how cold it is inside. I think it is warmer than outside. I have, like, for real. Unfortunately, the sun is gone. That would be a bit nice, but luckily it's not too windy. Oh. Some stones. It's not the nicest walking. I hope you guys see me. I come a bit in your direction. cold guys it's definitely colder I'm not putting my head down today it's it's not worth anymore it's definitely not worth anymore the sun is behind the clouds there's no heat coming anymore and I have to change quickly after that I really have to it's not worth oh but we're getting up to a better temperature now at least in this area oh but still crazy how cold it got oh, oh man Whew. I think that's enough oh. yeah I don't feel any more cold perfect If you're wondering how does it feel, well, my whole body is stinging right now. I feel like needles everywhere. So I'm going to basically now try off and hurry up. I really feel like this weird feeling on my whole body. Holy moly, that's crazy. But okay, I'll talk to you when I'm in the car. Holy moly, that is, yeah, I'm still kind of freezing. It's cold. I really have to say it's cold. I am still feel kind of like the the freezing pain in my feet i can still kind of feel numbness in my back and my finger are still cold but yeah that was definitely the last time i'm changing outside again next time i will definitely go in the car and change there so that i really just have the way from the car to the water and back. Of course, I have to get rid of my swimsuit before I can go in the car. But man, if I just take it off before I jump naked in it, that's definitely better than freezing my ass off. But now I have the car heating up to 22 degrees. I have the heating on the seat. I have the steering wheel heating on. Oh, that's nice. So I'm gonna heat up now drive to Yirio where I'm going to do some more drone footage. It's already five, see? Time is running. And then I'm going grocery shopping. Whew, that was cold. But training is training. In winter it's just getting worse and worse. Well, 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 guess who forgot to record an outro? Or anything that happened after I was swimming? Well, yes, it's me. <laughs> obviously but like i said i went to yideo i took my drone out however i was not walking to the swimming area i was basically just flying out of my car did some nice shots in my opinion and i also saw the swimming spot and i noticed now by watching the footage that they have removed the the wooden thingy going into the water like the pier or however you want to call it i guess it's done because in winter you know everything freezes so it's not needed and it might get damaged but i was still like wow they have done it at the other side i was also not doing too much recordings there because i saw there were people having a barbecue and then i was driving to do my grocery shoppings i charged the car again now that i have like done the 
pre-conditioning, so the preheating of the battery, it was way quicker. It took, I think it took like 25 minutes from 15 to 80 percent. So that was okay. It was also not the perfect temperatures for the battery, but it was good enough. Um, I think I had a charging speed of 150 in the beginning and then of course it drops. And yeah, it was enough time for me to watch a YouTube video and then when I was done I could go home, I made some food and yeah, I didn't feel like recording anything. Well, now that is the outro though. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. We're going to see each other back in the next video, but until then, bye bye.